did some work on the front brake tried to inspect it but it's all seized up um, the other piston works quite nicely the smaller one goes up and down but this big boy it's completely stuck I can't free it up at all so I need to rebuild it let's get it done The piston itself doesn't look too bad, there are no major scratches on it or scoring so I'm guessing that will clean up quite nicely. Um, but the seals however on the other hand inside, um, they are completely messed up, uh, either distorted or hardened, uh, covered in some kind of gunk so they will definitely be replacing. Uh, other than that I'm hoping I can uh, salvage this little caliper because there shouldn't be much wrong with it other than replacing the seals. Since I'm waiting for some parts to be delivered, like the brake caliper parts and a couple of other options I've ordered on the bike, I might as well uh, get started on that paint job and I need to get rid of that. That's right, somebody stuck some steampunk shit on the petrol tank. The petrol tank is really bad condition as it is. Uh, it's not, not too rusty inside, just a bit of dirt, but it's actually all right inside. But the paint job is, well, I guess if you're building a piece of shit road bike, that will do for you. But that's not my cup of tea. Let's deal with it. So it looks like somebody attacked this poor little bike or a tank with a super glue and about, I don't know, Weighing roughly four to five kilograms of steam pack shit. Now, if anybody wants some steam pack shit free of charge, let me know before I throw this shit out. Um, and now is a good part. Think of the weight reduction. I mean, I remove about 12 to 14 kilograms of weight of the bike. That equals at least 7 brake horsepower extra, which means I'll be able to go 20 miles per hour more without that shit on. Brilliant! Let's carry on! What a mess! I mean, look at it! <laughs> it's one of those jobs I wish I never started. Nah, no, I'm only fucking with you. It'll be nice when I finish with it. That exposed the dent somebody filled in, which I've seen anyway because it wasn't a great job. So I've seen there's a dent, because I wasn't sure how big that is. But I've dealt with worse, so I'm not worried about that. And other than that little incident over there, the tank is pretty decent condition. Obviously, completely fucked up with paint, but hey, I'll deal with that. Woo! 
That's it for one night. I'm going to leave it as it is. And join me tomorrow when I carry on with that petrol tank. That's looking slightly better, not much, but just a little bit better. A uh, bit of body filler here and there, maybe a little bit more than just a little bit more of body filler, and this tank should look like a petrol tank again. Let's do this. Welcome back, this is day two, I think. I think it's second day from the last clip. Anyway, the petrol tank is now primed and this is the very first coat of kind of paint since I strip it down to a complete bare metal. And I only been body working it, um, kind of dry without any guide coats. And this is the first time it's coated, so all the imperfection is showing. And I have to say I'm very happy with uh, what I see because there's not many issues I need to deal with. There's obviously uh, slight imperfections when a dent originally was. Um, some tiny spot marks around that um, feature here on the gas cap, uh, petrol tank cap, and a tiny little couple of dents over here um, that I will address. However, I'm not going to spend 40 hours on this paint job, on this petrol tank alone. I'm not doing it 100% perfect. It's just, it's just not worth it for the bike. I want to make it look presentable, I will definitely make it look better than it was originally, but I'm not, it's not, you know, $50,000, you know, custom chopper project, so I'm not going crazy mental on it. I'm doing just enough for it to look presentable. I mean, it would look a little bit out of place if I throw crazy out of uh, this air of paint job on it, on a bike like this, it just wouldn't look proportional. I'm not saying it needs to be beaten up, it needs to look presentable, but I don't need to be... 1000% perfect, it's not the point. So there's a level of things I'm doing here and I'm stepping back slightly. I'm not making it 100% perfect. 90%, that will do. But enough of the personal tag right now, I'm gonna put it inside. I only started dealing with it because I was waiting for my parts, for my um, front caliper rebuild kit and I've got it, I've got it from all balls. Very fun thing to say, all balls. Um, they're really good kit, I'll show you what I've got inside. So all balls, I got it online. Um, it's for the Eliminator ZL600, but it's for all those lists of bikes as well. I'm guessing they use all Kawasaki and they all using the same um, front caliper. So the parts are universal for, I don't know, 20 bikes or something. Um, really good kit. It doesn't come with pistons because pistons are good. I don't need to uh, replace them. We got a cool sticker. There you go. So we've got the copper o rings, um, rubber gator kind of for the uh, sliding parts, the uh, dust seals, the main seal for the uh, smaller piston, another gator for the sliding rod, uh, main piston seal, another dust seal, and a couple of uh, nipple kind of protectors, little condoms for a nipple. <laughs> really, I think, good kit, and the lot cost me 14 pounds delivered.
not a bad deal I think. There it is, my little front caliper. And yes, you did notice correctly, I gave it a fresh coat of paint. I use special caliper paint. Um, no, it doesn't look brand new, but it looks 10 times better than it was originally. It's a 25 year old, I think, um, caliper. It's off the bike, I might as well degrease it and give it a, a proper uh, caliper paint. I chose black because it, I don't want it to stand out too much. It's a little, little front caliper, but it looks way better than it did before. This process is really straightforward. I mean, you remove the old seals and where the old seals used to be, you put the new seals back in. And the only lubricant I'm gonna use is the brake fluid itself, because I don't want any grease in there to contaminate that brake fluid later on. And that will obviously um, have an impact on the performance of um, my brake uh, front brake system. So I'm gonna use brake fluid to lubricate them seals, to sit them in a place, and then when I install the pistons as well, that would help them slightly, gently more in, you know, so uh, that's my plan anyway, it's not talking about it, let's get it done. Beautiful, let's put it back on the bike when it should be. Just like that, we've got successfully rebuilt the front caliper on the Kawasaki ZL600. Not without its difficulties though, because I was pre-filling the, uh, the brake hose, because uh, I was completely dry, so I was filling it up with a uh, brake fluid, and what I had at the point, I was uh, dribbling from the bottom. I'm thinking right now, quick, because I need to be quick, so I got my ratchet and fertile mill socket ready, I put it in the end of it, I need to put that bolt in that brake caliper to do it in, so I'm trying to do it in, and at that point I dropped the ratchet because I'm fucking clumsy. Uh, not only at this stage I got brake fluid dripping all over the freshly painted caliper from the hose, but I dropped the ratchet in my little pot that was collecting that brake fluid from the hose, and I've got the brake fluid all over the fucking floor. I'm picking up the ratchet. The ratchet is covered in brake fluid, which is fucking horrible and slippery, and you know it. At that point, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got there in the end. It's uh, nice and, um, and firm. I'm gonna leave it overnight, compressed, and I revisit it tomorrow. I bleed it again tomorrow just to get rid of all the uh, uh, tiny little air bubbles from the system and at that point the front brake actually the front end will be done right so the work on the front end is now completed which is the good stuff i'm going to carry on working on the petrol tank it's nearly done all the hard and messy job is done just need to smooth it out a little bit more i've already completed the um the rear mud guard the rear and front mud guard in fact the front one was aluminium, the rear one was plastic, and the petrol tank is made of steel. Great combination, Mr. Kawasaki. So what does it leave us? Well, I need to change the, the final drive oil. I need to inspect the uh, drum brake. And last but not least, there's a little bit of fabrication I need to do on the side panels, but I'll explain this all later. And all this is a story for another episode. I'm guessing we've got two maybe three more left episodes before the bike is back on the road in the condition I want it to be. And until then guys, thank you very much for watching. Rock hard, have a beer and I'll see you 
very soon.